But first, before I get to the obvious, before I get to the Rona, before I get to four more weeks of lockdown in Greater Sydney, let us celebrate a great Australian. Now, I don't know much more than the bloke who was able to, um, well, lose his nut after uh, his swimmer, Ariana Titmus, ended up winning that gold medal a couple of days ago in Tokyo. But Dean Boxall seems like he's got the whole world's attention with his celebration. Here's one of the headlines from uh, the United States where uh, they have uh, celebrated the fact that the excited coach lost his brain and instantly went viral. Well, when he was asked about why he celebrated the way that he did, the coach, who is the new Laurie Lawrence, said that his favourite wrestler of all time was a bloke called the Ultimate Warrior, an intercontinental and world champion in the 1990s, and he used to follow him. I used to love to wrestle with my brother at home when I was about 10, and I just loved him. For those who don't know who the Ultimate Warrior is, and because I can't show any Olympic footage, this is the man who inspired the celebration. <laughs> You have no idea how happy I am that after 10 years, I was finally able to get some WWE on the air. <laughs> anyway, the Hall of Famer. But of course, while everyone else understood that this was just an awesome bit of Aussie exuberance, well, there are, of course, those that are humorless on the left who took to their favourite social media platform to whinge, bitch, moan and complain about the ultimate warrior of the Australian swim team. Have a look at this for some of the nasty tweets that came in where one Sheila called Kate said, that Aussie swim coach is, a to is toxic as, and I hope that these athletes don't have to deal with him much longer. There's no way he's not building unsafe and potentially abusive relationships. Oh, come on. Uh, a Sheila called Laura said, hey all, what the Australian coach did isn't funny or cute. It bigfoots a woman athlete winning a gold medal and centres the attention on him. It's vulgar and frankly offensive. He should apologise to her and to everybody else. Get over yourself, Dal.